Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be painting an Orc Commando from the Kill Team Octarius box set. And boy what a lovely model these new Orcs are. So characterful and awesome. I wanted to paint a Commando which had a bear head so my choice was the Sniper Boy. Let's begin shall we? First I'm painting the orc skin. I already have a video on painting an orc boy, but there are so many ways to paint orc skin. Let's start with a base coat of orc flesh. Next I'm shading the skin with Athonian camo shade. Now I bring back orc flesh to the raised areas to even out the skin and brighten it a little. For the highlight I'm using Nurgling Green. Lastly I paint the tips of the ears, elbows and knuckles with a watered down Kislev Flesh. This adds a different hue to the skin and is a great finishing touch. Now to paint some details on the orc. First I paint his nails with Incubi Darkness. I also paint the bags under his eyes with the same color. And I highlight them with Thunderhawk Blue. The eyes are painted with Blood Angels Red. His teeth are base coated in Usapti Bone. Shaded with Skeleton Horde. And highlight it with Screaming Skull. The orc skin is complete. Now because the model is so low to the ground and hunched over I really wish I didn't glue him to the base. It's difficult to reach some of the places. But when making mistakes just go over them with the original base coat. I know I did quite a bit. The shirt and boots I want to paint in a bluish black shade. First I base coat with a baton black. Then I add black Templar contrast paint to even out the base coat. Next I do three highlights. The first one is Dark Reaper. The second highlight is Thunderhawk Blue. And the third and final highlight is Ferrisian Grey. I only add this highlight to the boots to make them look more shiny. With the added third highlight the boots now read as black leather while the shirt still looks like cloth. While I use the same colors one highlight makes all the difference. Now I want to paint some old school camo pants. First I base coat with Death World Forest. I then shade the pants with Athonian Camo Shade. Now I bring back Death World Forest to the raised areas. The first camo color is Ogren Camo. Try to paint interesting shapes. Then I use Steel Legion Drap to paint even more shapes. Finally I use a bat and black to paint lines on one side of the previous color. This helps make it stand out more. This is a nice and simple way to paint some classic camo. Of course you can change out the colors if you want to go for urban camo or maybe even go for that pixelated look. Now to tackle his big backpack. I base coat with Zandri Dust. Then I shade the backpack with Agrax Earthshade. I layer Tamaran Sand on the raised areas. And I give a final highlight with Screaming Skull. 
the stitches I base coat with Morn Fang Brown. The commandos are loaded with backpacks, pouches and whatnot, so I want to make them all look distinctive. Let's have a look at his belts and pouches next. I've got several pouches and straps on this model. Some of them I base coat with Morn Fang Brown. The remaining pouches and bullet belts I base coat in corn red. Then I shade everything in Agrax Earth Shade. The brown pouches get a highlight of Scrag Brown. And the red pouches and bullet belts get a layer of Evil Sun Scarlet. Then I go back through the brown pouches and highlight those with Deathclaw Brown. The red pouches and bullet belts get a highlight of Wild Rider Red. If there are any symbols on the red pouches, I paint these with Everland Sunset. Then I shade the symbols with Yandan Yellow. And highlight with Flash Kids Yellow. Painting all the gear on the orc in different colors really makes it look more interesting. Of course you can go for a more uniform look where everything is the same color, but these are orcs. If they believe they are concealed they are, no matter how bright their uniform might look. You might have noticed this particular orc has a huge shooter. I base coat this with Iron Warriors. I also paint any blades, bullets or grenades he might have on him. Next I pick out a couple of parts of the gun with Balthazar Gold. I also paint all the tips of the bullets in this step. Next I want to add a colored panel to the gun. I use Mephiston Red. Now I shade the gun and all metal parts with Agrax Earthshade. The red panel gets a highlight of Wild Rider Red. Then I highlight all the metal parts with Rune Fang Steel. I also add scratches to the red panel and with a dry brush some more battle damage on the gun itself. And the handles of guns or knives are given a base coat of Black Templar. And a highlight of Celestra Grey. Any wooden parts I base coat with Wildwood. And highlight with Bane Blade Brown. This is one nasty looking shooter. Alternatively you can use a lead belcher for base coating, but I like the way Iron Warriors coats in one layer and it looks a little bit richer than lead belcher. You might have noticed I'm using a Necromunda base for my commando. I base coat the top of the base with Iron Warriors. Then I shade it in Agrax Earthshade. Next I add some PVC glue to certain parts and add some sand through the base. I got this nice barbed wire from Army Painter. Just wrap it around a brush and use PVC glue to glue it in place. Now I add some yellow ochre pigment to the base and the bottom of his boots to make it look more in line with the scenery I painted. Finally, I paint the rim of the base with Steel Legion Drap. And here we have a Sniper Boy, ready to be dropped in any kill zone. This is probably one of the more plain looking orcs of this amazing kill team, but I wanted to show one that had a bare head. I am planning on painting the uniforms of all orcs in different combinations, but still using the colors I laid out in this tutorial. One orc might have a camo backpack or have black pants. I hope this will make for an interesting looking kill team. 
To see the results when I finish, head over to my Instagram page where I post pictures of my projects and behind the scenes stuff I'm working on. How are you finding the new Kill Team game? Have you painted any cool Kill Teams? Let me know in the comments. But for now, thanks for watching.